Dear beloved child of God, I write to you today with a heart filled with both love and urgency. I implore you to open your heart to the Spirit and seek the truth that God is revealing to His people in these final days. We stand on the brink of a profound moment in God's divine plan. And whether you believe it or not, it is essential that you prepare yourself spiritually. There is a significant date approaching, October 9th, 2024. This day, many believe, will mark a pivotal moment in the unfolding of God's prophetic timeline. The four horsemen of the apocalypse are expected to appear in the sky on this day, signaling an extraordinary event that will be witnessed by the entire world. This message is not intended to stir fear or anxiety. It is a call for spiritual readiness, a wake-up call based on biblical patterns and signs that we cannot ignore. We must be vigilant and discerning, for God is speaking to His people in ways that are becoming more apparent by the day. We are called to test the spirits, seek wisdom, and align ourselves with God's will. Many biblical scholars and mathematicians have dedicated their lives to studying God's Word, and their careful research has led them to the conclusion that October 9, 2024, will mark an important step in the fulfillment of end-time prophecies. The heavens themselves testify to this, as we see unusual signs in the stars and skies. However, while these predictions are based on scripture and careful interpretation, we must always remember the words of Jesus in Matthew 24, 36. But of that day and hour, no one knows, not even the angels of heaven, but my Father only. This truth reminds us that no one can predict the exact moment of Christ's return. Even though many have placed significance on October 9th, we must understand that it is not about obsessing over a specific date. Instead, it is about living in a state of constant readiness, always prepared to meet our Lord, whether that day comes tomorrow, next year, or years from now. Jesus will come like a thief in the night, as the Bible warns us. This means that when he does return, those who are unprepared will have no time to make things right. The Bible calls us to stay alert and to live in a way that reflects our devotion to God, not out of fear, but out of love. It's important to note that many anticipated the rapture to occur on October 2nd, 2024. While that day passed without the rapture taking place, scholars believe it marked the beginning of Daniel's 70th week a significant period in the biblical timeline that signals the acceleration of end-time events. From this moment onward, things will unfold rapidly. Prophetic events will become more evident, and we will witness God's plan in ways we could not have imagined. However, as we reflect on these times, we must not let our faith be driven solely by dates and timelines. The true call of the believer is to live every day in a way that honors God, regardless of the prophetic calendar. Too often, we allow ourselves to become complacent, only scrambling to get right with God. When we hear about an impending date or significant event, this is not how God intends us to live. Our relationship with Him must be constant, not driven by fear of judgment, but by a genuine love for our Savior and a desire to walk with Him daily. The Bible gives us the story of Noah to illustrate the danger of ignoring the signs. In the days before the flood, people were living their lives, eating, drinking, and carrying on as usual, unaware of the destruction that was about to come upon them. They were caught off guard, not because they hadn't been warned, but because they ignored the signs and failed to prepare. The same will be true when Christ returns. Those who are unprepared will be caught off guard, not because they didn't hear the warnings, but because they chose to focus on worldly distractions, assuming they had more time. But dear child of God, do not make this mistake. Do not gamble with your soul by living in complacency, 
thinking you can get right with God at the last minute. Time is not guaranteed to anyone. We are called to be vigilant, watchful, and to live each day as if it were our last. Our readiness for the Lord's return should not be a reaction to fear, but an ongoing commitment to living a life that reflects God's love, grace, and truth. The rapture, whenever it may occur, is not simply an escape from hardship. It is the culmination of a life lived in devotion to Christ, the moment when our faith becomes sight and we stand before our Savior, not as fearful sinners, but as beloved children. Let us not be driven by fear of missing the rapture, but by love for our Lord. Whether the rapture happens on October 9th or any other day, our focus should always be on living a life that honors God every single day. Our faith must be lived out in the way we treat others, in our willingness to forgive, in our integrity, and in our unwavering commitment to follow Christ. The world is filled with distractions, and it's easy to become consumed by the chaos around us. But as children of God, we are called to rise above these distractions and live in a way that reflects the teachings of Jesus. Whether the rapture happens soon or later, what matters most is how we are living right now. Are we loving our neighbors? Are we forgiving those who have wronged us? Are we living with integrity, grace, and a heart full of compassion? These are the questions that determine whether we are truly ready for Christ's return. The rapture is not simply about being taken up into the sky. It's about the transformation of our hearts and lives, a continuation of the relationship we have been nurturing with Christ every day. I urge you, dear believer, not to let fear or anxiety consume you. Do not allow yourself to be overwhelmed by dates or predictions. Instead, focus on your relationship with Christ. Seek Him daily, grow in His grace, and walk in the peace that only He can provide. If you are living in close fellowship with Him, the rapture will not come as a disruption, but as the natural culmination of the journey you have been walking with Him all along. Prepare in peace, not panic. Stockpiling goods or making rushed prayers will not save you. What God desires is your heart, your devotion, and your daily commitment to live according to His will. As we approach October 9th and the signs continue to unfold, let us not lose sight of what truly matters. Our relationship with Jesus. I invite you now to join me in prayer, a prayer of repentance and preparation. Let us come before God with sincerity, seeking His presence and guidance in these important times. Heavenly Father, we come before you now with open hearts, acknowledging the significance of this moment. We see the signs unfolding around us, and we feel the urgency to draw closer to you. While we do not know the exact day or hour of your return, we desire to be ready, living lives that reflect your will. Forgive us for the distractions, sins, and attitudes that have distanced us from you. Purify our hearts and help us to live in a way that honors you every day. Lord Jesus, we believe in you. We believe that you died for our sins, that you rose again, and that you are coming soon. Help us to place you at the center of our lives, walking in faith, obedience, and love. We ask for the strength to endure the trials of this world and the discernment to follow your will in every decision we make. Prepare us, not just for a specific day, but for a lifetime of walking with you. And may we, as your followers, be beacons of light, sharing your message of hope and salvation with those around us. There's a growing conversation about October 9th, 2024, not as an arbitrary date but as one deeply embedded in scripture and aligned with the unfolding of God's divine plan, esteemed biblical scholars and dedicated mathematicians who have spent their lives studying God's word. 
have concluded that this day signifies a pivotal moment in the fulfillment of end-time prophecies. Even the heavens are bearing witness to this, with celestial bodies displaying unusual signs that will be visible to the entire world. These experts haven't arrived at their conclusions lightly. Their findings are the result of years of meticulous study and interpretation of the prophetic signs outlined in the Bible. However, it's important to clarify. While these predictions are based on the signs we observe today, only God the Father knows the exact day and hour of Christ's return. Jesus himself reminded us of this in Matthew 24, 36, saying, But about that day or hour no one knows. Not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. So, what implications does this have for us as believers? Does it mean we should disregard these warnings and continue our lives as usual, waiting for a more definitive sign? Absolutely not. The Bible calls us to be vigilant, to stay alert, and to live in a constant state of readiness. Jesus will come like a thief in the night, as the scriptures tell us, and when he does, those who are unprepared will have no opportunity to set things right. It's true that many anticipated the rapture might occur on October 2nd, 2024, but that day passed without that event. Nonetheless, according to many respected scholars and prophetic voices, that date marked the beginning of Daniel's 70th week, a critical moment in the biblical timeline signaling an acceleration of end-time events. From now on, things may progress rapidly, and we might witness the unfolding of God's plan in ways we could never have imagined.